L O L at Live House. Yeah. Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. International comedians, local comedians come through. Uh, very popular, incredibly popular. People complain a lot. When we first opened, it was the first thing that people were excited about, to be honest. Yeah. They said, live comedy downtown KL, that's fantastic. And it packs out, really does. Right, so, uh, which means today, uh, currently, tonight, you guys are hosting uh, Jared Fell, right? Very, very funny guy. Don't know if he's a comedian, a magician, he's a pickpocket. All round mad man, the whole man that guy. Case. Last night's show was just literally a guy laughed till he fell off the chair. Fell off yeah. the chair. I kid you not. Yeah. Literally. It's fantastic. It was. Wow. Jared Fell's a very, very funny man. But uh, talking about the comedy scenes here, um, a lot of prominent stand up comedians have performed at LOL. That's right? very true. And uh, what's the response been uh, so far today? Because I hear that sometimes. Malaysians, right, and comedy, they just don't get certain lines and they say they start staring at each other like what's going on. Do you know what? I would disagree with that. Do you know really? what I moved here seven months ago. The easiest way for me to understand the Malaysian sense of humor is the local comics because the stereotyping jokes are, are fantastic. And you get it. I get it now. I, now I, no. I spend enough time with the guys. So what normally happens is I enjoy 75% of the show and then when it snaps into Malaysian, I look at these guys, Erica and Russell, and they translate for me and then I get it. Because usually that's when they make the jokes about the matzale. Right. Ah, which, see, which she now gets, uh, of course. You know, right. Okay. All the colonial jokes, yeah. all that kind of stuff. <laughs> But uh, so far the ride has been smooth and um, nice when we for first, Live House. When we first opened, uh, we faced a couple of challenges, people finding out who we are. But now, thanks to uh, international comics, the bands, Russell, everyone working really hard. People know where we are, they know it's good music, they know it's good comedy, and uh, people are enjoying it. Can't complain, really can't complain. Well, Russell is the music director for Live House and... Uh, I just go there for the burgers, man. What the burgers what are burgers? awesome. Man. We pay him for singing in burgers. And we ask him to sing three times a night. Oh, you guys serve food as well? KGB like, burgers. Lovely. At Life House. KL's favorite KGB burgers. Nice. So you can come, you can wine, dine, and enjoy a great show, and go home uh, a happy person. You can take a girl on a date, give her comedy so she's laughing, stuff her full of burgers and milkshakes, and then you can get a Russell to sing a love song, and then your night's complete. Valentine's Day at Life House is perfect, as you can see. Really? Okay, I, I'll plan for one next year maybe, hopefully. Uh, yeah, just let me know as soon as you got a date. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yes, we sh I, I'm working on that. Uh, now, uh, Russell, let's go back to Rock the House itself. Now, you're part of uh, this whole uh, judging panel and you're the anchor judge. Now, yes, sir. original compositions cover. Now, in terms of uh, um, an audience, right? In uh, A patron of Live House who's going to be attending Rock the House. We may know cover songs and mm -hmm. if a band executes that song brilliantly, you're going to get a huge response from the crowd. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens if someone belts out an original composition, which you and I don't know of, but um, how is one going to be able to judge? Well, here's the thing. If the band is bold enough to do their original composition, um, they know they're taking that risk. Everybody knows, right? This is the first thing. Every musician thinks, oh, we have to sing songs that they know. We have to sing songs that they know. But if they can nail it, it's the song itself is good enough yes it's very risky because there's so much of a potential to crash and burn but if the song is a really good song and they nail the performance the execution they immediately emerge as the winner of the night yes or no don't True. you think so yes right so it's, it works both ways i think the band themselves need to assess where they are if they're ready with the song and the performance to do it as an original because music is music end of the day if it's a really really good song and performance people are going to like it and they're going to vote for it okay so erica do you have the name of the 12 bands i'm going to be i was in a surprise for now they've been informed already right yeah well uh the rest of them are uh, we've just announced the first four bands on our uh social media channels uh they are donna marie they like the sense uh smack soul and of course the maha jeffrey band Right, and these four bands are going to be showcasing tomorrow night. Uh, what time does the event start? Rock the house. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. and it goes all the way after these four bands. Um, well, we hope people, we're trying to tell people to come in earlier because we don't want you to come to see your favorite band and not have a seat. So, you know, if people can come by at like 7, 7.30, all you people who are in your cars or at home with the radio now listening to this, come to Rock the House tomorrow. Be there by 7.30, latest. It's at Trek. If you don't know how to get there, ways it. Yes, but don't lie, it sounds like me. I know, I'm not angry. I'm <laughs> passionate, bro, I'm passionate! No? Know, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, track is, uh, is the Tun Razak change next to the new prominent huge club which everyone knows, downtown KL. The whole track area and Lifehouse is located as you walk into the whole 
track areas towards the end you won't miss out you see a nice big lol sign and you see live house and just follow the sound and the music the loudest band belting out on stage that's where you guys want to hit it so joe this, these bands are going to come up tomorrow 12 bands uh, what are you looking forward to man i i'm i'm not an expert i'm just looking forward to the performance performance is everything for me so i'll be there at the front singing along dancing along even if i don't know the words even if it's in malay even if it's in chinese i'll still be singing along dancing along um but i'm really really looking forward to performance and passion the eight piece i'm really looking forward to uh is the eight piece uh, one of the bands performing tomorrow erica uh, no, the eight piece is the following week, so you gotta come and see it for yourself. What would you look out for? What, what, what mm. I look out for? What would you look okay, out uh, for? Me being someone who loves music, and I've been a huge fan of Russell Cletus from the day I met him. What, we go at least what ten years, five years, six yeah, years, yeah. whatever. Ten years. Yeah, and uh, from how from where the boy has come up, Russell Cletus himself was the winner of one talent show called Blast Off, and uh, runner up, actually. runner up. Yep, and um, this song which I've got here. It's called Funky Freak. First single. First single of Russell yeah. Cutters. You can hear how the boy, not boy, sorry, this man has matured and come a long way. And you've been in the industry long enough. You've got uh, enough friends, enough collaborations, people you work with. Recently, you were even out of Malaysia. You were in New York City dropping some tracks. That was actually a very, very awesome experience. Uh, work, I worked with nine artists. We featured the best of this region. We had Yuna, Afghan, Joe Flizzo, Jacqueline Victor, Sona One, Dato City Noa Lisa. Ariel Noah, Chita Chitata, and all the music was recorded in New York. Uh, I basically rewrote a version of Kawi Hamku, which was made famous by Manbai, and which is a song that I absolutely love. Remember, we used to jam to that all the time. I used to jam to you, yeah. man. I, you, I was a groupie yeah. back then. And we used to talk about that arrangement, that gospel yep. arrangement. Yes. And I finally got to do it with a section of the Harlem Gospel Choir. It's amazing. It was uh, one of the best working experiences I've had so far. Okay, and what are you looking forward to tomorrow, man? The first, uh, first episode of uh, Rock the House. I want to see. I want to see that these bands really want it, no? You know, I don't care if it's the ten thousand that they want or they just want to win. I want to see that they really, really want it, because that's where the drive comes out and it shows on stage. I don't want to. I don't want to come surgically clean, everything planned out, like with a formula. I don't want to see bands like that. I want to see bands that really, really want it, and come and perform their hearts out and leave everything on the stage and go and not only 10,000 ringgit because Livehouse is actually offering a contract for what a month to perform live we, we will allow these bands to headline during our week and we'll give them a great set and it's not just that uh, unannounced also is the fact that they will perform in a timeout music festival oh for, for like people in care that's an exclusive for you the body lovely and um, it, it's going to be really cool and timeout care is a part of uh, the soul rock the house ensemble yeah, right they are our media partner and they are also very passionate about championing the local scene they've always been uh, curators of, of uh, top 10 local band lists you know to go look for new music so i think the what happens after rock the house it's very exciting for the bands who, who make it because this if they really really want to do it right i personally will do everything i can to steer them in the right direction where they can take their music and how they can make their music um become more known to people right mm. because end of the day if how good however good you are if no one knows who you are then there's no point you need the exposure fair enough and because like you tracks fm you know with timeout there's they have the channels for distribution of their music yeah already set but they really, really need to want it. And, you know, it basically, they, they got to go all the way. Right? Yeah. We're going to document this on our social media. At Lifehouse KL, hashtag Lifehouse KL, hashtag Rock the House. Anyone can watch. If you can't come this week and you can't see what the bands are like, you get snippets online, you'll see how people are voting and you'll see people happy because they're winning prizes. Lovely. And can, of course, include hashtag Tracks FM throughout the whole period because I'm going to be there as well. Of course. Um, of course. Making sure you guys have a bit of peace and taste of what you can expect. Rock the House, if you can't make it tomorrow, it's going to be all the way through. But tomorrow is the first episode and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Erika, what are your, your expectations for tomorrow's first show? The oh. performance and the, the bands. I'm actually really excited because I've seen what these bands... Uh, are actually capable of their p the potential in them so I'm really hoping that it will be a really good show uh, yeah I think it will be a great show so well guys don't miss it break a leg thank you so much for coming on board thank and, you uh, we are trying to be very we are actually very pleased and happy to be part of this uh, awesome uh, talent show and talent search which you guys have put together and I uh, hope this is not going to be the first of its own, this episode. That's a whole series of Rock the House, right? This is just the beginning. Lovely. And uh, we're, we're hoping to have you guys on board throughout the whole journey. It's going to be you a pleasure, personally, man. personally, and I want to say to Tracks FM, you guys have always supported everything that I've done musically. And um, 
and everyone else so you know with your upstage program and all these things and uh, you guys are doing a great job as part of the industry i thank you for it thank you thank you for giving us music my dear friend so guys i will see you tomorrow yeah, all right see you tomorrow Tabadi, right? thank you from lifehouse and thank you so much for having us today we've had so much fun thank you so much and uh don't worry guys you guys are in good hands if anything happens you have an in-house physiotherapist right <laughs> 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 alex my man quietly sing now one ling chai handsome guy la. I'm, I'm not kidding when it comes to saying he's good looking and he's a physiotherapist he fixed my neck the other night amazing guys thank you so much and russell <laughs> i got to do this la. i don't think no one no other station plays this song to date no, not anymore. Curtis no. Blues Review. Back then, how old were you when you when you actually dropped this track? I was a wee lad. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah. Tell me. Tell you what? How old were you? I was young, younger. How, how young? <laughs> 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 well, coming up, we got the news at six, and then gonna be Par on uh, Music Blast. Of. Hello, Par. How are you doing? Oh, Par's looking sick now. He's part of. Drop, drop a verse, son. Drop a verse. Funky Freak. Tracks of M. Double D L.